grade four math practice test for T and ready. This, on this version anyway, it's question number 17. This is a calculator allowed section. That's why this little pretty graphic is right there. So there you go, or picture, whatever you want to call it. Using this number line, place a point to show the location of 0.85. Now, in some ways, I guess I could feel that they're being rude because they're going to break this into parts, and in my brain, I'm naturally going to see that as fractions. So let's figure out what each one of these units represents. So remember, if you count, you want to start here, and the first mo motion to the first one is one. Don't count one, two, three. People do that, and see, it made him sad. It's like a frowny face. That was not intended. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And since it's between zero and one, that means we're dealing with one tenth. You probably already know this, but it's a calculator allowed section, so you're allowed to use it. And I might as well just show you that one tenth, which is the same as one divided by ten, is zero point one. So each one of these tick marks are point one. So I'll go ahead and Fill this out, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Obviously, these are not very well drawn, but I mean, I'm just trying to get down to where it actually matters. And then this will be 1.0. So we have 0 0.85. So if I were to kind of organize this, oops, in vertical form, I would think, okay, so what numbers... Uh, of the what tick marks would 8.85 fall in, which is 85 hundredths, by the way. Um, so I'm just going to put the number that's the same as this one and the number above it, and then I'm going to put zeros. So 0.85, because 5 is exactly in the middle of 1 and 10, would be in the exact middle between 0 0.80 and 0.9. So I'm going to go up here to 0 0.8, or 0 0.8 and 0.9, and I'm going to make my little point right there and that's my answer I mean it's not exactly high level rocketry in any way but it's nice to have some system if you don't already have one you may have known immediately where to go and make that dot and that's awesome but if you didn't know that's still okay you can get there you just have to figure out what your scale is worth in terms of fraction and if you're in decimals you want to convert that into a decimal form and then like it's okay to make the little step ladder of 0 0.1 point or 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, so you can see it yourself. In the end of all things, the number of questions you complete during the test and the number you get correct is the only number that matters. If you do all of them really fast and miss them all, it doesn't. It means nothing. You win no prizes for being the first finished. It's just the people who score the most correct. This is not a particularly difficult problem, so don't waste it on pride of not writing something down so you can help yourself get to the correct answer. If your friend doesn't write anything down, who cares? Just worry about your own paper. Take the time that you need to get the correct answer, and you should be in good shape.